Hello, welcome to the tutorial question on factor theorem. In this question, we want to find the relation which holds between the numbers P and Q. If S Q plus 4 X squared plus X plus P, that is this polynomial, is exactly divisible by X plus Q. Now, the first question there is to find relations between the P and Q. The second question is determine for what value of p this relationship is satisfied when q is equal to 1. That's the second question. And hence, find the factors of s q plus 4 x squared plus x plus p for this value of p. So this is a question on uh, polynomial expression or polynomial equations. At the same time, it's a question of factor theorems. So how do we solve this problem? Let's go ahead. Moving on, let's start with this. Now, the polynomial expression given to us, P of X, P of X is uh, S cubed plus 4X squared plus X plus P. We may use F instead of P, so that it's not confuse us with uh, the small P here. So let, let me say that we use f of x, okay? This is polynomial expression given to us. Okay. Now, we want to find the relation between uh, p and q in this expression. If this expression is exactly divisible by... Now, for the expression to be exactly divisible by x plus q, it means that x plus q is a factor. Since it is exactly divisible, it means it doesn't have a remainder. So now the since uh, S since, the, since f of x since f of x is exactly since f of x is exactly divisible by s plus q then S plus Q is a factor, is a factor of F of X. So since this is exactly divisible by like that, it means F of Q is a factor. And now for F of Q to be a factor, that implies, this implies, this implies S plus Q is equal to zero. That is mean. That is by the time you put S plus Q to the expression, you get zero. Okay, let's look at it. And we need we need to clean this so that uh, we have enough space to work with. Yes, let's clean it like this so that we have enough space to work with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, to find the relationship, now we have this implies that uh, x plus q is equals to zero implies x is equals to minus q. That's mean by the time you take a plus q here, it becomes minus. Okay, now putting to get the relationship now, putting f of x is equals to f of minus q. Okay, that is in that polynomial expression where we see x, we put minus q there. So we have f of minus q now will be, the expression is s cube, that is a minus q cube uh -huh, plus 4 multiplied by minus q raised to power 2 plus minus q plus p. You know, it must be equal to 0. Yes. So in this case now we have Parents, let's check minus, you know, minus q cube uh, plus p plus 4 times minus, uh, minus q squared is plus q squared, plus q squared, so plus 4 squared, plus 4 q squared, sorry about that, okay, then plus times, plus times minus is minus q plus uh, p is equal to 0, okay, now, the question says that for what relationship, for what, you know, uh, 
this particular thing between P and Q become when Q is equal to 1. So in this case now, when Q is equal to 1, how is the relationship uh, uh, satisfied? Okay, so that means F of uh, minus Q is what? You know, we are going to put uh, minus, you know, minus Q is this. So that is minus 1. Well, that is F of when Q is equal to F of minus 1. So what do we have? Let's check that. So this will be what? Minus, minus 1 Q plus 4 into minus 1 squared minus minus 1 plus P is equal to 0. So in this case, we want to find the value of uh, P. This one will give us the value of P. Let's check. Let's check. So this will be minus here, yeah, minus 1 Q, that's minus 1 as well, plus 4, minus 1 squared, that's 1, minus as minus is plus 1, plus P is equal to 0. So this will imply minus 1 times mi minus, times minus 1 is plus 1, plus 4, plus 1, plus P is equal to 0. I hope you're following. Okay. Now, 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1. That's plus 6. Okay. That's 6 plus P is equal to 0. Okay. This will imply what? P is equal to minus 6. So, the value of P is minus 6. Now, the question also is what are the factors of that expression for the value of P? We have got the value of P now to be equal to what? To be equal to minus 6. So now going back to the expression, you know how to get the factors. So now plugging P there, the expression is what? Uh, since f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared, I think that's the that's equation, plus x plus P. Okay? Now putting P there now, we have with P equals to minus 6, we have F of X now will be uh -huh, S cube plus 4X squared plus X minus 6. Now, this is the polynomial expression. Now, the question now says, what, what are the factors of this expression when P is equal to minus 6? So that means we ought to use that. We ought to find the, the factors of uh, this expression when P is being put there as minus 6. So we need to use what we call trial and error method to find out. Let's use trial and error method to find out. So now we use, now we use trial and uh, error method to find the factors to find the factors to find the factors let's use try and uh, let me let me write it clearly now we use uh, try and uh, error method to find the factors to find the factors uh, of of uh, our form our polynomial expression f of x is equal to s cube plus 4s squared you know plus uh, x minus 6 i think this thing is not clear enough let me write this Use trial and uh, error method. Error method to find the factors uh -huh. of. Uh, I think that is clear. Okay. Now let's start with let x. Let f of x is equals to one. That is when x equals to one. 
Are we going to get a factor that will make it uh, easily divisible? Let's check. Putting it that that is f of 1 now is uh, 1 cube plus 4 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 6. If this value is equal to 0, that means s equals to 1 is a factor. Let's check. That implies 1 plus 4 plus 1 minus 6. Wow. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So it means that f of x of, is equal to f of 1, that is x equals to 1, is a factor. So this implies that. This implies x is equal to 1 is a factor. That is, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, I try to transfer. Thus, x minus 1 is a divisor. So, x minus 1 is a divisor for f of x. So, now try to find the division. Now, using by using long division, that is, we now use long division. That is, we're going to divide like this. We're going to divide the function, you know, by x minus 1. Okay? So let's use long division here. Let, let us clean this so that we get it and we understand better and see everything. Okay? Let's use a uh, long division method. Let's rewrite this. Let's rewrite this. I think that is clear. Good. X minus 1. All right. S cubed plus 4X squared plus X minus 6. Good. Now we start with this. The first uh, expression, the first uh, unknown here, divided by x here. So if we divide s cubed by x, s we cancel 3, we have remaining 2, s squared. Okay? So we have s squared here. Because s cubed means s times s times x. So if you cancel one x out of it, you mean, you mean s squared. So now multiply s squared by s minus 1. So when you multiply s squared, but x minus 1, let me write it clearly. It seems this thing is not uh, covered. I want it to be well covered so that you, you understand. I want it to be well covered. I hope that is uh, better. Mm -hmm. S cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6, x minus 1. I think this is better. This better coverage, okay? So s cube over x, you pick the first one, the first element that you have s squared, like I've just shown you. Now multiply s squared by s minus 1. s squared times x, that's s cube. s squared times minus 1, that's minus x squared. Now you introduce minus there, you subtract the one below from the one above. Minus, the minus there will affect this one. This one will change to plus, okay? Now, s cube minus s cube, 0. You have what left here? Plus 4x squared plus x squared. That's 5x squared. Then you bring one of the factors down. So that you complement you. You know, we have two times there. 1, 2. 1, 2. Now divide 5x squared by x. Just like we did for the first one. 5x squared over x. x, we cancel 1 out here. I mean 5x. Remember, this is plus. This is plus. So plus 5x. Okay? Yes. Because you are dividing 5x squared plus 5x squared by plus x. So now multiply again this times this. Plus 5x times x minus 1. So plus 5x times x that is 5x squared. Then plus 5x times minus 1, that's minus 5x. Now you introduce minus sign again. The minus sign will change this one to minus, which was already plus. This one will be plus. Okay? I hope you understand what I did there. Fine. Now, 5x squared minus 5x squared cancelled. Plus 5x plus 5, uh, plus x plus 5x plus 6x. 
then bring down minus 6. Yes, because you have used this x, you have brought the x down before. Okay? Now, also divide plus 6x by x now. 6x by x. Yes, we can swear. Remember, this is plus, because plus 6x over plus x is equal plus x, plus 6. You have plus 6 there. Okay? Multiply plus 6 by this. Plus 6 times x. Plus 6x. Plus 6 times minus 1. Minus 6. So, there's nothing to subtract again, because what you have on top is what we have below. So, that means we are not going to have... What? The remainder. This obviously validate the statement that uh, x is equals to 1 is a factor, since it doesn't have a remainder. Okay? So that implies now that our f of x now is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by, because our quotient now is x squared plus 5x plus 6 multiplied by x minus 1. Now, to get the factors, because we have not actually concluded this, we have to what, break this down too. You know, this is now a quadratic uh, expression. This is a linear expression. So we have to break this down to linear expressions. So, now let's clean this. How do we break this down? Fine. To break this one down, you just have to factorize. Now we factorize. Now we factorize. S squared plus 5x plus 6 as. Remember, we want to replace 5x by two factors. So we have... We multiply x squared by plus 6, that will give 6x squared. So we are looking for the factors of 6x squared. It will be 3x and 2x. So that when you multiply them, you know, using plus, it will, it will retain plus there. Okay, so we have x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Yes. So you can pair them now. Pair them into 2. Pair them like this. Uh -huh. So this one becomes what? Now, what is common? X is common here. You have X into, divided by X here. You have X. You have X into X plus 3. First time you divide 3X by X, that is common. Then plus, what is common here? 2 into, divide 2X by 2, you have X left. Then plus 6 by 2, you have plus 3. So if you want, pick X plus 2, the one outside. You pick one of the one in the bracket, x plus 3. Now, we have broken x squared plus 5x plus 6 into this. Therefore, finally, f of x now can now be x minus 1. Now, all these have become this, x plus 2, x plus 3. So, the factors, so the factors, therefore, the factors of f of x are x minus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. So that is the, the hand of the problem. So we have come to the hand of the problem by getting all these factors. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumb up, comment, like, and share. God bless you.